We're here today on behalf of the Yes campaign for Scottish independence. And we're also here as members of the Celtic League because all the Celtic countries are determined that each and every one of them will eventually be properly democratically free. This is a banner, banner carried by Baird, Hardy and Wilson who carried it we, not so long ago, 1820. And they were attacked by cavalry, arrested, slowly strangled and beheaded. Those men gave their lives. They wanted the vote, they wanted the right to form unions and they wanted to form a provisional Scottish Parliament. Their equivalent in the neighbouring country of England was the Toll Puddle Martyrs. They just wanted the vote and uh, the right to form unions. They were sent, slapped across the back of the hand and sent to Australia for seven years. Lots of Scots were also sent to Australia and that's probably the reason that they, in Australia, passed a law saying that if you didn't go to vote, you're fine. Because it's not only your duty to vote, it's your privilege and it's your cause for dem democratic freedom. You must use your vote. Scotland freer a desert and let me warn you that if it's a no vote next year, Scotland will be plunged into a depressive state never, never known before. And I'm saying to all those soccer fans, the Tartan Army, if you don't vote yes, your country will not be a sovereign country and will therefore never be able to participate in world-class football. Neither will England, of course, unless they should have their own parliament and their own government. Scotland, Cornwall, Ireland, Wales, the Manx, Brittany will someday be free Celtic nations and powerful Celtic nations because each and every one of them has local wealth and determined Celtic people that want independence. Independence means freedom. Independence means that you're a sovereign state. Every year the United Nations gets bigger and bigger by new independent nations coming along. Why should the Celtic nations be any different? Scotland must have self-government to survive. Your choice is either to live in an occupied state by voting no, but by voting yes for independence and becoming a normal country. What's the harm of being the same as New Zealand? Those people in New Zealand, their, their, their population's a million less than Scotland, yet they're a very determined and independent and very strong country. I want to be like New Zealand, independent and free.